Madison Square Garden. It's the first time we've said that. This is Wayne Viner and Bruce Posner as Maryland falls to Wisconsin, the first round of the Big Ten tournament, 59-54. Bruce, what do you got today? Well, we start off by saying we're NIT bound, and that kind of summarizes everything. All right? It was very, very, very frustrating. Had the ball several times with the shot to take the lead and just could not get the job done. And you made a good, you asked a good question at the presser. They did an unbelievable job on Ethan Happ. They really did. And when you look at the fact that we only scored 54 points, this is two games in a row against Michigan and Wisconsin. 54 points. I don't, I, I don't understand it, Wayne. And Herter was great down the wire. But it was. the threes were not falling. Look, and we'll Just, get the Turgeon press audio. We weren't allowed to use video up. And Bruce, you went in the locker room, and we got Fernando and Herder and, and Tamayich in the locker room. And Herder I, was I'm, distraught, but I'm proud of Herder. Well, in the post-game In the post-game the presser, post -game presser, he did a brilliant defense of Turgeon. Uh, who's going to take a lot of heat for this loss. And, no and Herder said so. I right. am so disappointed that I'm not sure what to say. I don't want to go overboard. It is just a There's basketball There's nothing to game. say. They lost. It was kind of like a, a, a repeat of the losses this year. It was just L. But How it was many, there. You could have won the game so many again. times. Could you have won the game? Again. Again. And, and part of it is that you just follow them along. And it's obviously I've loved this team my whole life. And this is the second or third or fourth one of these where I almost end up crying in the hallway. Man, I want to win this game. Hey. I would have taken the loss tomorrow. I just wanted to win today. I came, we came up here. It was great. Just wanted to win today, Bruce. Like you said, you were glad there was a glass window. We were 10 stories up. But I got to tell you something, one of the best press seats I've ever had. And, and there's some pictures of that. Right. And we were here. on top of the floor. The press area is like a club area. Yeah. It was great. So this is the Chase Media Bridge here in Madison Square Garden. See, it says Chase Bridge. So on one side, you have the media. As we walk down the, the, the way here, you can see behind me, you can also see the stands of the lower deck behind me. It's a great setup. And uh, we're enjoying ourselves. Bruce is uh, somewhere up here. But if you take a look, it's a really, really good angle for the court. And you can hear the second game going on behind us. It's Iowa and Michigan. How do you how do you move on? How you do just, you move on? You, gotta, you just forget about this year. It's kind of like uh, that Dallas season that was a complete flop. That's from my old, all my old timers out there. And Bobby woke up one morning it was and it a was dream. a bad dream. This isn't a bad, well, it is a bad dream, but it's not a bad dream. No, okay, it's so, real. So Herder down the stretch figured out how to get to the basket. He Cal was great. Cowan went great. back to being a point guard. He got the ball where it needed to be. We couldn't get a rebound. Do you think putting sticks in the middle of this next year? Or, or, or Do you think Fernando's coming back? Well, he sure talked like it. If you look at my quick interview with him about mm -hmm. it, he learned a lot from it. But I, you know what, Wayne? I can't answer you. He'll probably go test the waters like everybody right. else does. Uh, and we'll see from there. Well, but uh, uh, Well, we'd like to thank, for I forget, Meyer Consulting Engineer, Viner Four Gates. This is the Viner Four Gates postgame show from Madison Square Garden. We're going to come back with a little more commentary here and, and then uh, we'll go back in and watch some basketball. We'll see you in a moment. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900. Or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Back here under Madison Square Garden, Bruce trying to lighten the mood, dancing the Rocky music. How can as, you not dance to Rocky as, music? All because right? I'm that, I'm just steamed. I'm, I'm sweating. The game's been over for 30, 40 minutes, and, and I'm still sweating. I I, I want to go play. You I know just, what? Ah. You know what? It's another loss in a very, very tough season. There's it nothing to been. say, and uh, I don't. You know, there's no comments. They tried. They just yep. didn't have it. And to point fingers or anything on the last play. Oh, the last play. Everybody was, says whoo. somebody made a big mistake. Yeah, I don't know you who could it was. see Turgeon went running down the sideline, screaming at somebody, 
and at that point, Wiley threw the ball and we had to throw the we ball. We had to throw it. We had a timeout. Yeah, no timeouts left. We had to get a three. But what lost the game, and Turgeon referred to it, scores tied. Yep. They take two shots with 40 seconds left. Yep. And who got both rebounds? Ethan Happ gets the rebound in the last one, and, and that did him in. But you had to get it. there. It was all the fouls. But it, still, Herter gets fouled with two shots. And he bounces. They played some good games down there between uh, – Rivers and Ethan Happa, who was going to stand on what side and turned it into a 40 second delay. And then at the end of that delay, he missed the first shot. But that's, you're not going to make every free throw you ever take. No, it was in and out, bounced out. Then, you know, we argued about whether or not he should miss the second. But, they played it right. Because right. if you miss the second and the team gets the rebound, the game's over. Yeah. All right. I, if they make two free throws. It and was. here, they had a shot to tie it. Okay. Maybe they should have called the timeout. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Uh, too much second guessing. Since, but listen. Since you're dancing and we're listen, time to move on. Yeah. I'm, dance. I'm sick to my <laughs> stomach. But, uh, so they're what, 19 and 12? 19 and 14? I don't, I don't know. I don't even remember. Here's what bothers me. I said it to you all along. This is no knock to Wisconsin. But they played horrible. I mean, they had so many chances to put this away, and they couldn't do it. They shot 37% from the field. But they shot 20 or 24 from the line, and they got themselves the free throw line. That, well, we gave up too many offensive rebounds. Yeah. We fouled too much. We didn't have to foul as Turnovers much as we were did. sort of even. Rebounds were sort of even. We Turnovers, we had, no, we had more. But it, it, it's, it's a matter of a couple threes, like you said. Yeah. We weren't hitting our threes today, but the driving lanes were open. Yeah. What, what, what concerns me is 54 points. And even though we might have scored a few more against Michigan, it was yeah. kind of like a similar game, except it not was. a blowout, because right. we weren't playing Michigan. But uh, who knows? I who know. Knows? It was just sad. And uh, I really feel like we lost something today. I don't want to talk hey. about the Big Ten, but I do want to no. say one thing. Do you hear the experiments they're going to use? They're yeah. going to go to four quarters. In the NIT. In the NIT, I'm yes, sorry. Yes, I did. That's interesting to see how that plays out, because... Watching the women's game, I think yeah. it's a better game. It could be. Uh, uh, I guess we'll get to find out sometime well, next week or two. So Maryland at least is off for about two weeks because usually the tournament's next week and they have the week off. Uh, we'll be back in College Park after the Sports Maven on Saturday to, at 9. You'll be in College Park for Maryland, Notre Dame, lacrosse at 11. And I'm looking forward to that. Maryland lacrosse is undefeated and uh, Wayne... They just seem to really have it. It's just it's yep. funny how things work your way. They do, and when they don't, they don't. Yeah. You know, there is nothing you can do about it. All but right. uh, um, we're all sad. But you know, let's end it on a happy note, okay? We had some nice wins this year, although I don't seem to remember them. But we had six wins at home, all right, in the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. uh, we got two wins on the road in the Big Ten, eight and ten. It's not a two and fourteen season or two and sixteen yeah, season just, like that. That's what it feels like, though. It does because our expectations are higher. Right. We, it's not good enough for us no. to make the NIT. And All right. Well, certainly not good enough for Turgeon. No. I mean, he's he's more devastated than anybody. I felt yeah. sorry for him today. I really did. Yeah. I guess that's enough for this one, Bruce. Uh, we'll we will cover if Maryland is at home. We will be there at the NIT, and probably if they're on the road, we might not make it. But, championship uh, game, I think we'll go if We're to back it. here. Right. Yeah, this is Not the fun. semis. I'd go to the semis. No, championship game. All right. Well. Although good. it's a Wednesday, I'm not going to go because we got work to do. Yeah, you got Terp Talk. Right. All right. Well, good afternoon. From small Madison Wayne, Square small Garden. world's not coming to an Where end. Maryland loses 59-54. We will see you on the radio on Saturday morning.